A320. Mentor Channel. Managing smoke and fumes in flight. Managing smoke, fumes, and odors during flight is a critical safety responsibility for both flight crew and cabin crew. Strict adherence to the Airbus smoke, fumes, avionic smoke procedure ensures a consistent and effective response. Any incident where the source of smoke or fumes cannot be immediately identified and contained requires serious consideration of diversion to safeguard everyone on board. This presentation consolidates essential guidelines for crews to rapidly detect, assess, communicate, and react to smoke or fumes, prioritizing safety throughout the flight. Dealing with fire, smoke, and fumes events. Understanding types of contaminants. Smoke is visible particles from burning materials that can be seen and smelled. Fumes are invisible gaseous compounds that may cause irritation or odors, but without visible signs. Odors can originate from either smoke or fumes and are often how crew members first perceive an abnormal event, signaling potential danger. Challenges in managing events. Events are a complex and dynamic source, and their severity is initially unknown. Fires can escalate rapidly within minutes, so crews must act decisively and quickly to control the situation. Key drivers for managing smoke and fumes. Time. Uncontrolled fires in aircraft overhead compartments become uncontrollable in 8 to 10 minutes, with less than 15 to 20 minutes available to safely land after fire signs emerge. Communication. Early, clear two-way communication between cockpit and cabin is vital for situational awareness and coordinated response during smoke or fume events. Source identification. While smoke detectors assist in known locations, many sources are hidden or inaccessible. Crews must use all available cues, including odors, noises, temperature changes, and passenger reports to locate the source. Adhering to the smoke philosophy. Single entry point. Pilots follow the smoke, fumes, avionics smoke QRH procedure whenever smoke, fumes, or the avionics smoke alert is detected ensuring consistency and clarity in managing all related events. Key Actions The procedure mandates anticipating diversion, protecting the cockpit environment, and maintaining communication with the cabin crew to prevent escalation. Philosophy Summary Safety is paramount, especially when source identification is uncertain. The procedure guides crews to remain proactive, emphasizing early diversion and teamwork. Flight Crew's Critical Role Safety Mindset and Actions The flight crew must immediately anticipate diversion by briefing on alternate airfields and notifying ATC. Quick, reversible actions limit smoke recirculation to protect themselves and the cabin. Assess and decide. They evaluate if the smoke, fume source is accessible and extinguishable, with cabin input. If uncertain or uncontrolled, diversion is mandatory following all procedural steps for safety. Cabin crew's key role in teamwork. Immediate assessment. Cabin crew must swiftly identify the smoke or odor source, continuously assess the situation, and communicate all details to the flight crew. Effective communication. Using shared references for odors and symptoms enhances coordination, helping flight crew make informed decisions more quickly. Training and awareness. Operators should provide comprehensive training and guidelines on smoke and fume management drawn from Airbus documentation and regulatory bulletins. Materials and recommendations for operators. Airbus operational materials. Smoke, fumes, AVNCS smoke procedures in FCOM and QRH. FCTM chapters on techniques. COM firefighting and safety awareness manuals. Operator-specific maintenance and decontamination procedures. Regulatory guidance. FAA SAFO and research bulletins. ICAO Circular 344 for training and reporting. CASA safety bulletins. Odor recognition and training. Challenges in odor recognition. Odor perception is subjective, influenced by personal factors and in-flight environmental conditions like humidity and temperature. Training with real odor samples and establishing standardized naming improve recognition and identification accuracy. Mapping odors to sources. Linking odors to possible aircraft locations, galleys, panels, and sources, ovens, ventilation, 
IFE, supports faster source isolation and effective response. Operational context including APU use, engine operations, and weather conditions must also be considered during training. Internal reporting and collaboration. Standardized reporting. Operators should implement uniform reporting templates for cabin to cockpit and crew to maintenance communication capturing odor nature, intensity, location, flight phase, and symptoms. Benefits. Consistent data gathering enables root cause analysis, trend monitoring, and coordinated operational and maintenance actions, enhancing safety and prevention measures. Conclusion. Safety through awareness and teamwork. Adhere to the Airbus philosophy. Always apply the smoke, fumes procedure at suspicion of smoke or odor, prioritize safety, anticipate diversion early, and maintain open communication between flight and cabin crews. Develop tailored operator guidance. Implement training emphasizing odor recognition, internal briefing, and coordinated communication to build crew confidence and response efficiency. Commit to ongoing collaboration. Engage all stakeholders, flight, cabin, maintenance, and management to continuously improve safety protocols, ensuring quick, effective management of smoke or fumes events. A320. Mentor Channel.